Hey you all, and good morning. Uh, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the, uh, in the north, more specifically. We are in Columbus, Ohio. Just notice, look at this. Look at the freshly fallen snow. It snowed a little bit last night. Not a whole lot, really. Just a dusting, but uh, it is uh, not quite a winter wonderland out there, but but it snowed. It snowed. There's snow on the ground. Um, this may not be your 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 typical carpet packer video. We're probably not going to do any uh, roadside attractions today. No amusement parks. Probably not a museum. Probably not even a haunted house. Um, for those of you following along, for those of you not me, I'm currently on. I'm currently on the uh, the the Choose My Adventure road trip. Although things not going necessarily as planned. If you uh, if you watched yesterday's video, I uh, I got in a, a car accident. I'm actually uh, okay. I'm actually oh yeah. Now that I'm now that I mentioned, I just woke up. Uh, they say sometimes you wake up the next morning and you're super sore. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I'm not injured. My neck is kind of sore. My, my shoulder's kind of sore. These are the kind of things, those are the two like nagging things that always kind of bother me and they're a little exacerbated. But uh, no 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 new injuries, so I'm lucky. I'm lucky there so far. I, I don't know how long these things pop up. There was always that, um, you always heard that uh, someone told me the same thing yesterday that you've got to go, if you get in a car accident, you got to go immediately to the hospital and get checked out, otherwise, you know, otherwise you, 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 you can't do anything. If you hurt later, you're, you are you can't get anything with insurance or whatever. I don't know if that's true, but, but that's, I've definitely heard that over and over again. You gotta go right then and there, otherwise that's your one chance. Otherwise your, the, their insurance won't pay for it or something, I don't know. Anyways, anyways, um, yeah, last night got my car, I got, it was, Came here to this hotel, was dropped off. Uh, I had to get a, uh, a tow truck driver to drive me, to drop my car off. Then I had to get an Uber to drive me here to the hotel. Um, I don't know, the tow truck, the tr tr tow truck driver offered to drop me off at the nearest gas station. He didn't offer to take me to my hotel room. Uh, it didn't seem like that was something he did. I didn't want to ask him to take me to the hotel because I didn't know that was appropriate. I mean, I I, I would have happily given the tow truck driver the tow truck driver the twenty bucks that I gave the Uber driver to just take me the extra five miles to my hotel. But you know, I don't know if if it's rude to ask a tow truck driver to be an Uber driver. That's not his job. He's a very skilled, uh, very skilled profession, and uh, and yeah, so. I, uh, I've got, I woke up this morning, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place still, I'm still just scrambling. I woke up this morning, um, I called the auto body shop where, where we dumped, in the dead of night we dumped my, uh, my car, I called them, they have it, they said they'd look at it, so that's the waiting game, and it's to see, uh, what they can, what they can tell me about it. I hate waiting. I hate just waiting, not knowing what's going on, but that's life. It's a lot of waiting in life. A lot of waiting to just see what happens. And um, in, uh, I was supposed to get a, a rental car. Uh, Geico's uh, covering a rental car for me until my car gets fixed. Uh, which apparently, I should have anticipated this, apparently this is not going to be as easy as uh, as, as just as simple as that. I, I called the rental car place this morning. They said, uh, okay, we'll have one ready for you by Tuesday. As I record this, it is Friday. I'm like, I would like one earlier than that. That's, that's, uh, that's, what's that, four days? Four days of, of no transportation here. Um, I know there was, uh, over the summer, I know there was a huge shortage of rental cars uh, during I think it was not during COVID, but like when people started, I think when people started traveling again, there was a massive shortage. Like last summer, there was a shortage on like people getting on airplanes and stuff was expensive. 
uh, gas was clearly expensive and rental cars were, were in short demand, so, uh, short supply, I'm sorry. They were in high demand, short supply. So, um, I guess I need to, uh, okay. So, they did not have one till Tuesday. Sorry, get back on track here. I'm drifting. I'm drifting all over the place. Um, but the gentleman, the gentleman at the, the Enterprise, the one I called, he said, um, that's what he, that's what he had. He said that I could transfer my reservation to any Enterprise if, as long as, as long as they had a car. So, he gave me a couple phone numbers. I called a different Enterprise, and this gentleman here, he explained, kind of, kind of broke everything down for me, and he said that, um, that, that Fridays were, I guess, not a good time to, 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 to figure out a rental car because, you know, they have uh, people flying in and out of the airport, and that, um, that, uh, it's hard for him to take take account of how much they have. He says he has doesn't have a car right now. They're all booked up for this afternoon. But he said it is fairly common for people to no show. And he said that with the weather the way it is, apparently it's snowing, that there is a uh, good chance that he uh, could have a car available by one o'clock. So I'm gonna call back. Uh, he said don't bother calling all the other enterprises right now because he said it will be a wild goose chase uh, he said uh, by, by one o'clock that they will be more established in knowing what they have having uh, cars depending on what I guess show shows up um, yeah it's all pure chaos I guess what people get off the airplane what people drop theirs off so Normally, I would be scrambling when I'd call any every, every enterprise. I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take this gentleman's advice, and I think I'm gonna um, think I'm going to wait till one to call, and then I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to be patient. I'm a very impatient man. I will be 100. percent I'm very impatient. It's not that I want something done now, 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 now. I just want to know. I just want to know when something's done. I'm. I'm very rigid when it comes to schedule, so I like to know when stuff is uh, is going to be ready, is going to be done. So it's all it's all hard for me, but it's it's okay. I'm not on the side of the road. I'm in a warm, cozy hotel room in Columbus, Ohio. But uh, right now, I think I'm going to lay back down. Uh, I think I'm just gonna just gonna lay down in my hotel bed and uh, and, and try not to worry for a few minutes. Uh, I'll get back to you. Again, this isn't going to be a normal uh, vlog, but um, you know, when I when I left on this road trip, uh, I said I would upload every day, so I'm going to upload every day, and I'm going to upload what's going on in my day, and if my day is a bunch of frustrating car nonsense, then that's what I'll vlog. <laughs> I promise you, as soon as it is, as soon as it becomes an option, we will do something fun. Uh, so, uh, I will I will get back to you. Oh, this is fun. I'm on the sixth floor here, and uh, the elevator the elevator doesn't work. The elevator's broken on the on the uh, on the elevator. The elevator's broken in the hotel here. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go find some stairs. I guess I could use the exercise. Oh, what's that? In that bag. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. All right. So not a lot of. All right. So not a lot of great news. Um, the rental car is not going to be ready till Tuesday. Uh, is the earliest I've called around to all the different enterprises, uh, and they don't have a car for me until Tuesday. So I guess the rental the rental car shortage is uh, is still in full effect uh, as far as the auto body shop they can't get started uh for a month for a month here uh so we're gonna be waiting a month to uh i don't know what we're gonna be doing um i did talk with someone about possibly possibly the best solution here is just using that car as a trade-in and uh buying a new car so i talked to someone um earlier today uh, they said it's a possibility. Said they'd be back with me. It's been a few hours. I've not heard back from them at this point. A car salesman 
Fortunately, the thing is the car salesman was actually the first person that acted like uh, acted like they wanted to get stuff done. So, uh, still have not heard back from them, but hopefully they can uh, maneuver things and uh, and uh, maybe get something done. Because I think uh, the best option, instead of having my car held hostage in, Col in Columbus, Ohio for an indeterminate amount of time, uh, buying a new car might be my best option. Right now, I'm waiting on an Uber. I've got an Uber over to the body shop because I forgot some things. And all the hustle and bustle last night of getting my car towed, I forgot some things in the car that I need to pick up. So I'm Ubering over there. Here it's snowing, starting to snow a little harder. And uh, we're gonna go over there and pick some things up from the car that I need for tonight. And hopefully before too long, uh, we can we hear back from the car salesman as I just slowly am trying to put together a plan here because I have no plan and I don't know what plan to go with. I, I don't know. It's all, it's, everything's up in the air right now. I'm in, I'm stranded in Columbus, Ohio, and I don't know what the next step is. So uh, we should be here in uh, just a moment. Yeah, it's kind of a sad sight over here at the body shop. Just rows and rows of cars that have suffered similar fates to mine. Yep, car sitting right here where I left it, glistening in the snow. You see, and now you see there, that's that's the biggest problem there. <laughs> the, this piece right here is touching the tire. Now some people said all, all that I need to do was uh, was bend that back, but uh, it's 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 not as easy as it may appear on on the internet. Um, this is it's like bent metal, like I can't physically bend metal. Everyone, some gentleman I spoke to earlier apparently had gone home for the day, so I'm supposed to be back in the office tomorrow. We'll talk to him about buying, uh, possibly buying a new car. Do you need a ride, uh, sir? Oh, I do! I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I'm glad you came and saved me. Get in the car! Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so we are back at the hotel. We're back. Um, Jen decided to uh, to, to drive out and. Uh, I mean, there wasn't much of a decision. <laughs> I was super worried about you. She was worried about me when I got in the uh, in the car accident, and um, fortunately, I'm not too far away from Rochester. I didn't make, I didn't, ma I haven't made it very far on this road trip. Only no. made it two cities. It was only like five hours. Like five hours. I mean, I say only, but. Like, <laughs> normally, like before I met you, like five hours, if I found out I had to drive that in a day, I'm like, five hours! Like, No, that's a, that's a short day of driving. Yeah, Jen, uh, Jen didn't, hasn't had a lot to travel before this year, but at the end of the year, Google Maps will actually send you a map of where you've been. Oh, I should find it. You find it? I'm and very impressed by this. She was really excited when, uh... Look! I don't know if they can... Oh, no, can I, I see that? I see that, let me... <laughs> oh, no. There we oh, go. Yeah, there we go. Look! Look at all the places <laughs> I've been. <laughs> so yeah, quite uh, added quite a few states to her uh, to her repertoire there. Where was I before I met you? There was like New York, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. That was it. <laughs> so we've done some done some traveling. Yeah, originally I wasn't supposed to wasn't supposed to see Jen for for a while, but uh, but uh, here we are, and uh, yeah, still don't know. I mean. And I apologize to today's video if this wasn't exciting. I've just, I'm dedicated to, to just blogging my experience every day right now. And, uh. It's quite the experience. And, uh, yeah. And it's been, so I know that, that talking about buying a car and broken cars and stuff may not be the most exciting stuff. So hopefully, um, Jen's here now. She has a vehicle. Hopefully, uh, I don't know for sure. I don't know what tomorrow brings because everything is, is day to well, day. Well, tomorrow's more dealership stuff, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna try to talk to someone at the dealership to see if maybe I can cut my losses and just get a new car, use uh, use my old car as a trade-in, 
and see if we can turn that around and, and get it turned into. So that, I don't know what, I don't know if they give that tomorrow. I don't have a rental car until, uh, until Tuesday here in Columbus because there's like a short, I guess there's still a shortage. You're stuck with me until Tuesday, possibly. Possibly, but we do have a car. We do have a vehicle, Jen brought her vehicle. So hopefully um, when, once we get freed up, we can actually go maybe film something more interesting than uh, <laughs> than cars and hotels because I do want to I do want to get you to, to, to put out interesting content but at the same time I wanted to let you guys know. I don't know I think this is interesting it's like interesting. this is the real life of Jacob the Carpenter. The real life. Yeah, it's real been... house <laughs> wife. Oh, have wife? I, don't, I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> yeah I don't know I started you know I started this uh this uh, choose choose my adventure road trip to be unpredictable, and this has certainly been an unpredictable road trip. Even though we've only done uh, two votes so far, um, hopefully we'll be able to resume the the voting on cities. We'll, we we will get back to voting some at some point, uh, but, but right now I just have to figure out the situation, figure out um, how I'm going to uh, get into a vehicle and get out of. Ohio. Out of Ohio. And did I tell you? And it's funny, I brought this up. I don't know, maybe Ohio is cursed for my family because my brother was one time driving cross country. <gasps> His me car broke down ago. in Akron, Ohio, which Akron's not really far from here. No. He, okay, I he threw was stuck today. He was stuck in Akron for a week um, and no one, no, one could, no one could get to him or help him. So he had to like, he had to like stay in a hotel like next to the auto body shop and just. <laughs> And just wait, but they—I uh, don't know—I don't know. I forget what I, what information I was told so far, but they can't start even working on my car for a month here. So, um, yeah, I had the same situation. My car is a while back. Car stranded here in uh, in Columbus, but I hope hope we can come up with a plan and get 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 filming interesting stuff because I, I love showing you guys interesting things on this channel. I don't like complaining and I don't like feeling bad for myself. So I just, mean, I was excited to come just I mean, I wanted to make sure you were okay. Like as soon as he called me yesterday, he called me at like 8 or 9 o'clock and I was like, I'm coming now. <clears throat> and he had to kind of talk some sense into me like, it won't get here until like 3 a.m. Oh yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah, it was a I was yeah, like, but she I want wanted to. Make to sure you're okay. She was ready to just drop everything and uh, and but, head out here. And I haven't been anywhere. I mean, that's not why I didn't want to go. Oh yeah, like, that's right. <laughs> Here's what, I, I hadn't talked about this yet, but um, so I took a week off at the beginning of the year. That was planned. What wasn't planned is Jen got really sick. She got uh, she got COVID for the first time. So that was exciting. Oh boy. She got COVID. She was uh, really sick. Um, I'm still. Um, it happened a few days after we got back from Christmas, so we rang in the new year in bed. Yeah. <laughs> Not, like, excitingly. Like, no, it was, like, yeah, she, she was, you were out for, like, pretty much spent two weeks, two weeks in bed. And, and my chest is still bad. Like, here at the, this hotel. What do they call it? The long, the long COVID? Yeah, the elevators broke. Oh, yeah, here. the elevators broke tonight. Um, it, and we're on the sixth floor. Sixth, sixth floor, the elevators broke it. And, uh, my, Which just seems about it just seems about it. right, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> I went to go get Skyline chili for us. Yeah, we had Skyline, Skyline. The whole way here, I was like, must check on Jacob. That's me driving, by the way. <laughs> must check on Jacob. Must get Skyline chili. <laughs> you start craving Skyline, says you in Ohio. Yeah, so we had some good. We had some, we had a nice Skyline chili dinner here, in uh, in the hotel room. But I think I'm doing better. I mean, I'm here. Like I definitely. Wouldn't I mean, you have walked been doing up six that. flights. Of, oh, you, did you walk up six? Yeah, you walked up six flights of stairs. Okay, I have a question. This I think this outro is throwing, going a lot longer than yeah, you intended. We're throwing a question out to the to the viewing yeah, audience. Yeah, I don't even know if I asked you. I told you it was twelve flights of stairs because each floor is two sets of stairs. So I went up like twelve sets of like. Is it 12 flights? So is that 12 flights or is that 6 I flights? guess I don't really know what a flight of stairs is. Right, that's what is. I'm asking. Like, what is the flight? Is like, a flight, is, like, is, the... it six, is it 6 flights because it's 6 floors? Or is it 12 flights because it's each like I feel like it was 12 because set. after each one, I'm like, my lungs are burning. <laughs> well, it sounds, like you're, it sounds like you're doing a little better if you could, if yes. you were able to walk yes, up the flights. Yes, that's the point. Like, they were burning, but even like a week ago, I couldn't like a shower ago, yeah, without you were, taking a break. You, you had to like... Got you. Get you. We're get, go, trying to go somewhere. This was after, after uh, of course that she had uh, had yeah, COVID. We and, both tested negative. We both tested negative, and then she um she was like, we're trying to go up and 
get ready and she like got up took a shower and then like went back to bed because like you have to take take a nap <laughs> I after was like, i need to take a break you need to give me like a half an hour i need to lay down yeah and so. then i'd get up and like put makeup on and lay down so, yeah, and then get rough. up and <laughs> it's been rough it's yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's been an adventure but uh, i'll be back tomorrow with something on this channel i will promise i can't promise it'll be interesting but i promise there will be something on this channel to view with your eyes. Um, and I wanted to thank- <gasps> Maybe someone could choose your new car! Um, uh, I, they might, I really choose like- Choose my car! Choose my car. <laughs> I'll be like, do you want me to drive a, a Hummer or a uh, smart car? You should get a motorcycle with a sidecar. Or a motorcycle with a sidecar. I want to be in the sidecar. Or one of those like, uh, what are those? It's ultralight. One of those pedaling things that can fly. You ever seen one of those? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, vote. Uh, go to uh, oh, no. my, <laughs> my subscription tab. Vote if you want me to drive. If you want me to purchase a Hummer, a smart car. Can you get one of those bikes like those mo beer tours. A motorcycle with a sidecar, <laughs> an ultra, a flying ultralight, or one of the driving bars for beer tours. Those are your five options. Go vote. Go vote now. <laughs> but thank you so much. I did want to thank everyone for the, the, the massive outpouring of support. You guys make me feel uh, feel loved. Just everyone with their, with their encouraging comments. And uh, I know people have reached out and, and helped in other ways. And it all means a whole lot. And uh, it helps keep this train in the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. And fortunately, the car in the body shop. <laughs> until next yeah. time. Until tomorrow morning. This one's in the bag.